I started really getting interested in magic when my parents took me to go see David Copperfield when I was 10 down in Chicago. That was great. Uh, a lot of the stuff really just blew my mind that he was able to do, take random people from the audience and have them, you know, pick a random number, have 10 people do this, and then he'd rearrange their numbers in order. And then at the end of the show, you know, he had written on a piece of paper what their numbers were in that exact order. I mean, that, that to me, that's, that just blew my mind. That started getting me interested in it. Then, uh, a few years later, we were down at uh, Pier 39, and uh, we happened across a little magic shop there, and my dad and I kind of went a little bit nuts, and uh, we had a great time there. And my dad and my mom have both really, really kind of helped me fuel my interest in the subject. My favorite to watch would have to be The Street Magic by David Blaine. He's got some really insane stuff to, that he does. Um, I also like a lot of the stuff that Wayne Houchin does. He, he's another really good street magician. I like doing whatever makes the audience happy. Um, as a performer, you kind of have to gauge your audience's reactions to some of the stuff. Some of the stuff can literally blow people's minds. Some people love that. Other people don't. You have to kind of go halfway in between to start with, gauge the people's reactions, your audience's reactions, and then perform based on that. Because if your audience doesn't like what you're doing, you aren't going to feel like you gave a good show. What really draws me to magic, and what makes me love magic so much, is the reaction. When I do something that people around me just, they're blown away. They don't understand how it can happen physically. It, it, it's a great feeling. And as a spectator, having that done to you, I mean, that's the best thing in the world that could happen for a magician, because that means that we did our job the right way. So that's to me, is the best thing, my favorite thing about magic. Now, do you know what ESP is? No. Okay, ESP is extrasensory perception. Right. You know what being psychic is? Sort of. Okay, sort of. Right. Well, we're going to run our own little experiment in psychokinesis here. All right? Really? Cool. Now, we, what I want you to do is I'm going to call out some random cards. And I want you to just hover your hand over the cards. And when you think that a card is what it is, just point to it. And I'll take it off to the side and I'll see how you do it. All right? So um, find the Queen of Diamonds. This one? Right here. This one? Right here. Not bad, not bad. Um, about the five of spades. This one, right here. Um, let's go with an easily recognizable one. Go with the ace of diamonds. This one. Not bad. Um... Go ahead, go with the two hearts, because we haven't done hearts in a while, I don't think. This one? Cool. Alright, now, we started with a face card, so I'm going to end it with a face card. I'm going to go with um, the king of hearts. Now, Martin, you remember the cards, right? Sort of. Sort of. What were they? Uh, two of hearts. Wait, wait, wait. In order. In order. I don't remember. All right. Well, I'll tell you what they are. You found the Queen of Diamonds, the Five of Spades, the Ace of Diamonds, the Two of Hearts, and 